हाय बालू so you can take as a presenter and then you can uh, start the running the ppt you can uh, you can switch on your camera otherwise now if uh, the internet is not sufficient you can continue as usual I think internet is fine. Then I can I can switch off my camera. Yeah. Now it's looking good. Yeah, Balu. Uh, should, uh, I should take as a presenter, no? Yes, you can. Yeah. Once you take okay. as a presenter, you can run this uh, PPT. Yeah, yeah. perfect now yeah yeah hello everyone i am sandeep and uh, i am here to welcome you for the edp session we are also very excited because uh, previously we have uh, completed uh, emp sessions and i think most of you might have uh, uh, connected us uh, live also and then uh, these sessions are also available on the website so i am requesting again to all the participants who are new or either who have missed any sessions please go through the emp sessions these are going to be very beneficial to you because in that we have discussed about how you can actually uh, come up with your idea and actually how you can pitch your idea uh, properly now we are running this cdp module the uh, this module actually uh, will be covered into eight sessions and this will also uh, make sure that uh, uh, you are also uh, able to come up with your business plan once you are all once you have already have a, had a grasp of uh, your idea after the mp sessions and uh, today we are here with the session 1 uh, in the session 1 we are going to majorly focus upon uh, how you can actually um, focus on problems and how you can build your enterprise and uh, this can be a step in developing your business plan basically the second thing which you are going to learn here is that uh, innovation uh, how you can be innovation focus also and how you can be problem focus we are also going to cover very interesting self assessment exercise also so be with us uh, you will be able to self evaluate yourself whether you are a problem focus or whether you are innovative focus or not 
so nobody is going to rate you you yourself is uh, are, are going to rate you and then uh, you will get an understanding on that are there any other formal announcement balu or should i proceed no sanjay you can proceed thank you yeah lovely okay thank you so much yeah uh is the slide visible to you balu yes it is, a, it is blank but in, on my side maybe if there is any uh, oh no 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 it is come now it is come yeah okay if it is going to zoom you can zoom out once please yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay okay yeah so now uh, i'm also going to introduce you to minakshi uh, so minakshi and balasar is again going to be with us these are two characters Uh, hypothetical, but very much uh, uh, part of our sessions, and uh, uh, they are going to also uh, travel their journey with us, and they are also going to uh, develop their business plan with us. So, uh, uh, Minakshi is now having a conversation with Bala sir that uh, uh, now uh, since I, she has already come up with her idea because of the MP sessions, I am repeating these sessions are already available on the. website and on the various other platforms of a uh, task please go through them and now requesting bala sir that what i should do now since i have an idea in place and after that idea how i should get it converted into a business plan so uh, bala sir is saying that uh, let us go again to, to the task uh, app and uh, revisit your sessions and uh, now we uh, move forward to the edp session so uh, once you are done with the idea uh, we are going to travel our journey to the uh, business plan development session yeah so this is uh, the whole uh, planner uh, which consists of the eight sessions essentially uh, and as it says that uh, in the first session we are going to uh, cover the problem focus innovation focus this these two sessions are basically majorly for business model canvas and they are actually into two parts part 1 and part. there are another two sessions which are diy sessions and then they will have different components also like decoding consumer behaviors and other things and uh, by the end of the session we will be having uh, a sample uh, or a pilot business plan in place where two of our participants are also going to uh, present their uh, plan business plan uh, from the sessions learning so essentially when you are going through the first session second session third session by the time you are reaching to the eighth session you might you might you would have convert uh, you would have already already be well versed with the whole components of the Uh, business plan so within those seven sessions if you have a good focus and good uh, concentration and also if you do your assignments properly most of the components will be ready by then you just have to place it into the business model canvas actually so uh, i think it is very essential to talk about enterprise life cycle in the first session itself uh, so this is this might be familiar to many of you this might be very new to a lot of you so uh, this, basically this is an um, enterprise life cycle is a very famous enterprise life cycle which says that uh, when you start you start almost from the zero and then uh, you go into the round fall also in the starting as is seen from the whole uh, bar graph and then slowly you move upward and then then again there is a, a static position either or either you get into a downfall so this is how you can actually uh, this is how the majorly the enterprises falls into place so when we started we started with a emp session and now you can see that right now we are at a, we are at a edp session so uh, we are almost starting our enterprising life cycle from idea now we are getting into an enterprise mode
so the learning objective for this session are first we are going to define problem solving in the context of entrepreneurship we'll also be comparing different models how you can actually solve problems from different models perspective we'll also be identifying the skills an entrepreneur need for effective problem solving and we'll also identify types of problem solvers also so um what uh, so by the you when you are running in this session it is very much essential that you should have an your idea in place in a particular format uh, for your convenience uh, i am going to share the minakshi's version of uh, the business plan or oh, sorry the idea pitch which she has made through going through the e emp sessions all the previous seven emp sessions so i'm repeating and reemphasizing to all of you if you have by chance not gone through the emp sessions please go through the emp sessions please be ready with your idea pitch only then you will be able to utilize fully the whole sessions of edp so this is a particular format uh, which uh, you were supposed to come up with once you are done with the seven emp sessions uh, so this is the sample pitch which is ready with all the participants who have attended the emp session so i am repeating this whole uh, sample pitch Uh, which was made by minakshi the venue is majedar and the location is kamam the product service which she is uh, offering is fun filled uh, based uh, illustrative mathematics worksheets the uniqueness of the program uh, of her venture is that as it says the majedar that mathematics is going to be converted into a very interesting format where students will be getting very customized interactive illustrative sheets and then they can uh, come up with the different uh, ideas so who are the uh, potential customers uh, the potential customers for her are basically the schools and uh, other uh, uh, stakeholders and schools are uh, one of the stakeholder which minakshi has come up with when she was already like uh, doing the uh, pilot assessment by the time she 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 started working on the venture she started also doing small pilots and cu uh, customer discovery also so by that time she was in a position to identify the consumers also the team uh, for minakshi uh, consist of uh, her advisor and uh, uh, her co team uh, will be of two three people the processes involved are as it says that uh, it's a small business um, because in our previous sessions we have also identified what are the different types of entrepreneurship and what is the kind of entrepreneurship you should aim for so based upon that she has come up with there is a separate session on this and uh, you can go through that session and you can identify which kind of enterprise you want to run into so uh, for her it was a small business so then um, she has also defined the market and the cost of product uh, for her is from 500 to 1000 rupees so this is a sample pitch i am repeating which all of the students who have attended the mp sessions they can come up with because all these components have been discussed in thorough details in the previous sessions of emp i am repeating i am requesting all of you again to go through the emp sessions do the assignments and if you have not done that you will come uh, and please come up with your sample pitch only then you will be able to fully utilize the whole thing what also we uh, done in the emp session was finding our entrepreneurial spot these were the different types of entrepreneurship as as was saying and uh, uh, you can actually identify your entrepreneurship spot through ikigai and then you can also identify your types of entrepreneurship there was also an component of what how and why what you are doing how you are doing and why you are doing there was a separate session on this now coming to the session today's session uh, it is problem focus and entrepreneurship as i was saying so before we actually jump into any problem focus i am just giving you a moment just 5 10 seconds 
what do you feel when there is a problem like what should be your approach just giving you a food for thought just think about any problem which is existing nearby there might be litter around there might be garbage around there might be poor poverty around there might be people uh, having scarcity with resources there might be bullying with people there might be menstruation problem there are a lot of other problems so there are different kind of problem which are there and what should be the approach when we talk about problem just giving you 5 seconds to think on that okay so when we say problem essentially we can actually categorize them into two kind of models so the one can be a adaptive model and another can be a innovative model so basically in an adaptive model we are actually what we are doing is we are just going along with the problem we are not studying the problem and what we are doing is we are just making sure that the problem get resolved that is the adaptive model but when it comes to innovative model we understand the problem thoroughly first we take out time and then we make sure that there is a solution to it so for example i am just taking an example suppose there is a garbage outside and there is lot of littering around so for you in an adaptive model the approach will be that ensuring that the garbage is away from your community and then you are not taking uh, you are not facing any challenges because of that but in an innovative model you are going to thoroughly understand and discuss why this garbage and littering is happening what are the reasons behind that and why it is uh, happening and you will make sure that the garbage itself is not put put up there you might come up with an idea where uh, there you are actually segregating prop uh, waste into a different different zones green yellow and white and then half of it is actually getting decomposed so i still remember while i was cleaning my uh, room uh, so we had a heap of uh, because we we cleaned that room after long and then it was a store room also there were a lot of uh, uh, waste which came up once i started segregating it there were very small waste which was which could not be decomposed if i would not have segregated it it would have directly got into a garbage so that was something which was very striking for me so i think in this both are very important sometimes the adaptive model is important because the quick solution is required and then you want to quickly solve the problem but in an innovative model you come up with a some kind of solution and you understand the problem thoroughly so you can understand and this why why we are doing this because you should think upon from your uh, the problem which you are targeting actually whatever idea you have for sure this is going to essentially solve any kind of problem so for example you might some of you might be into a providing any kind of food items coming up with any kind of food items so you might be targeting any kind of problem the problem may be that the home cooked food is not available the hygienic food is not available the affordable food is not available so you might be solving that problem but uh, you also need to understand whether you are doing an innovative model or you are doing an adaptive model whatever suits to you but you should have an understanding of this so before we even get into a detail understanding of that i'm requesting balu to run a very interesting video small video which talks about uh, problem solving in a very interesting manner actually i found it very exciting and the whole uh, uh, concept and it's a very simple humble pyara sa concept but i found it very exciting and very powerful so i think all of us should take out 2 3 minutes of time and we uh, let us understand that so balu requesting you to uh, run that video Yes, please. Florence Barker goes door to door in her town in Uganda, bringing light and with it opportunity to her family and community. So Solar Sister provides uh, women with a business opportunity and giving them what we call a business in the bag. And this is a startup inventory kit that involves uh, training, marketing, uh, plus inventory for them to really kick start their businesses. And so the main thing is the uh, lighting and phone charging or both. And those are the main things that most families need.
when I go to the communities, I tell them kerosene is a health hazard. Just imagine all the time you have spent inhaling that smoke. I tell them of the main benefits of the lamp, like your child will be able to study at night. I tell them they will be able to save a lot of money. You don't have to spend anything, just put it in the sun. In Uganda, we are blessed with a lot of sunshine, so you'll be saving and you'll be doing other things instead of, but of, of spending money on the lamp. The beauty about solar sister business is that um, the women really sell using their natural networks. It's more like the Avon of clean energy, you know, like the way the Avon ladies move around selling beauty products. That's how the solar sister entrepreneurs move around selling products to their neighbors. So one of our solar sister is Teddy, and she's a tailor. And because she thinks like a businesswoman, she thought, how could she use that light to even make her other businesses grow? You know, it gives her more hours to work. That means her income also doubles. So those are some of the benefits that really come in handy with having light, and which, which looks like a basic, small basic essential, but really does a very big difference in people's lives. Thank you, Balu. Uh, Balu, you are there, no? Yes, Balu, I'm here. You just wanted to take a moment of yours. Uh, so what was something uh, which excited you most in this video, actually? Yeah, uh, uh, actually, see, uh, where is the services is really required and what are the uh, circumstances are lagging off? And that could be very important to take up as in a small business, and, and that could be uh, very useful to the society as well as needy people. Exactly, exactly. And uh, do you think that um, uh, this is something which is very unique? Like, do you feel that solar power is something um, which is not um, like uh, it is something very out of the box or it is, uh, it is there around for ages? Actually, it is really, really out of the box. You know, one will think that uh, to provide the alternate and, and uh, the renewable renewable energy. Yeah. Really, yeah. it is out of the box. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Balu, for sharing this insight. So for me, I think um, uh, the most interesting part was uh, uh, that uh, they're calling it in a very unique way. They're saying that uh, business in the bag. So that was something which was absolutely stunning for me. So they're saying that I'm seeing that there are so many big, big shops which are selling solar power and all that. And many times they are not accessible. They are not approachable to people who are actually in need. So, for example, I have a solar shop in my area, but I don't have a chance to go through it or uh, I don't have a motivation also to go and speak to the person. But what they have done is they have made that accessibility very easy. They have brought in all the components of solar panel in the um, a bag and that too they have limited the whole number of products so that was very interesting for me because i was recently speaking to a person who was actually providing different kind of solar uh, products so for me the most confusing part was what i should choose in many of the cases that is the difficulty for a lot of people so here they are resolving that also and then you are also giving you an opportunity where you can actually take around the business and actually you can provide that uh, service to anyone. So uh, for me, I think that was very interesting. For me, the solar, I think the business idea is not about uh, providing uh, uh, solar to the people. For, for I think the, the whole idea majorly was that how you can make it accessible to people. 
the solar panels are there the paying capacity was there but hardly anyone approached to the people and hardly anyone asked them that this out of all the 100 kind of product which are there these are the product which are very much needed for you and do you want to actually uh, use them i am also seeing that, that there is a trend um, in my local heart in your local heart if you go where the vegetables are being sold weekly or uh, on daily basis on evening they are actually because there is no permanent connection of electricity what is happening is they are actually borrowing different kind of uh, electric lamps and uh, it is a rent on uh, rented lamp basically and then they pay around 30 40 rupees for that so when you total it actually they are ending up paying 1200 rupees in a month to a person that's good only that the other person is get, getting rent out of it but for the person who is giving the daily rent you can understand that it's a very big amount for the person the other person actually so i think uh, these are some of the very so i think um, for me um uh, this falls into the both the categories it falls into an adaptive model it falls into a innovative model also let us take a very uh, let us take a um, a detailed understanding of what is actually problem and uh, what is actually problem solving so if you go by a very theoretical definition the problem solving is the act of defining a problem the first what they are saying is you have to define a problem it might sound very easy but it's also one of the very difficult tasks you have to sit through it you have to go through it you have to observe it you have to understand it and a lot of other things also so the problem solving is act of first the first thing which is saying is you have to define a problem the second step is determining the cause of the problem then identifying prioritizing and selecting the various alternative to it so before we even talk about solutions in majority of cases when we talk about problem solving we directly jump into solution but here they are saying that you have to thoroughly deeply understand the problem first determine the causes then might come up with different kind of ways through which it can be uh, targeted and out of that choose from it so there is the, so before the solution also they are saying that there can be different ways to it and you have to sit through and think through about different ways and then only you should actually move ahead with the different solutions for implementing a solution so the process actually involved it's a very simple uh, um, way and it's a circular way so you're saying that this keeps on happening so you define the problem then you generate new ideas before de- before defining the problem you can you should not come out with the idea basically they're saying that first you define the problem then generate the idea then evaluate and select the solution and then impel- implement and evaluate then again you can define the problem and then so it's a circular motion which you can go through so what they have done in the case of business in the bag is that they have defined the problem that there was a need for electricity the electricity city was not there but the solar panels or solar electricity solar lights and solar charging which other people are interested in buying it was not available to them so they converted it into form of a business in the bag that was a, gen, a new idea for them they went around and they spoke to people so as you see in that video that there was a lady Uh, which was a tailor she started using it and she was able to also stitch in night which she was not able to in the previous uh, time and also a lot of people were actually using kerosene lamps so they were actually paying amount on daily basis and people uh, children were not able to study also and then they implemented uh, so they evaluated all these things and then they ca- again came up with uh, different things and now they are, uh, they are running a the, the, that whole process very successfully so in your case also you need to run this whole thing how you can do that we are also going to take up some self evaluation exercises also in the next slides in the meantime if there are any questions you have if you if you have any kind of comments and suggestions also you can please write into the chat box and we'll be happy to answer them so uh, boss, basically what ha- happens in a problem uh, focus as, as we were saying that you have to define the problem first i am taking again the example of minakshi uh, for her her uh, business idea was majidar where she was saying that i am going to provide fun filled illustrative worksheets where you can actually run um, uh, go through different kind of exercises and you can solve different kind of mathematical problems 
and these uh, these illustrative sheets are uh, created by her only and based upon the demand which was locally needed so uh, so she defined the problem there like this for her the idea was that illustrative worksheets ready made sheets should be available and which should be customized in a way that it can be utilized by anyone then what were the different ideas uh, she came up with the non uh, so she evaluated the problem that whether there are any solutions available or not so the worksheets and other things were available but they were not customized they were not catering to the need which was required actually and then she implemented and now she has come up with this solution and then it is being taken up by the people so this is the whole cycle which you also need to do that you have to define your problem then based upon the problem you have to define new ideas then you have to run through di piloting different kind of ideas whether this works or not that works or not so probably in case of meenakshi she might have thought of digital worksheet then physical worksheet then just theoretical or verbal worksheet then illustrative means that picture pictorial worksheet so different ideas she might have gone through and then only she might have come up with the solution so i think it is very good idea not to stick to any one kind of uh, solution you have to keep on thinking about different solution and you have to keep on resolving uh, uh, sorry uh, utilizing them and then uh, putting it into the front of the prospective customers also and then based upon that which is picked up most and which is most suited for the people you should move ahead with that so now the problem uh, the, the it just seems that can anyone be problem focused so all this sounds very simple also and it should be actually simple only so anyone who is running an enterprise should be a problem can be a problem focused because all of you might be thinking about any idea there there might be some other problems or the other problem you might be targeting so are we all problem focused or not so that is the question which meenakshi is having so now bala sir is that you have to self evaluate yourself going just listening to a lecture and then understanding it you might seem that i am also like that but now we are going to a do a self assessment exercise where we are going to take up each component in detail which are required for problem focus and we'll understand whether you are problem focused or not sorry so these are some of the essential components which one should have the first is analytical thinking second is curiosity creativity perseverance flexibility then there are a lot of other components also like resourcefulness systemic thinking collaborations decision making and continuous learning do you have all this or not if you don't have all this you have to work upon and you should have you should make sure that you start having all those component you start practicing those components otherwise you won't be a problem focused person so let us get into little more detail of doing a self assessment exercise and understand whether we are doing that or not uh, balu i am re requesting you again to uh, run our uh, uh, google form and let us uh, take students and participants into a detail self assessment exercise yes sir so now i'm yeah now i'm repeating that we, we are going to take upon whether we have those kind of traits or not which a problem focused person should have while starting any kind of business or enterprise or while thinking about it also so let us do a self assess assessment exercise for that so there are different components and based upon those different components you can actually assess yourself uh balu i am also requesting you to uh, share that uh, link into the uh, group also and uh, people can actually click on it and can have a look at it also while we are actually uh, explaining it in detail so this is also going to be an assignment for you where you have to self assess yourself on the basis of uh, 
different traits which are required for problem focus or not and since this is a self assessment exercise uh, we expect that you should be as honest as you can for yourself because nobody is going to evaluate you externally so this is just for yourself so you have to essentially assess yourself very critically and honestly then only it is going to help you so before marking any response from 1 to 5 the one is the lowest marks you can give for a particular trait whether you have that or not or whether you are practicing that or not you have that not is not a problem but whether you are practicing that for your idea or not that is the most essential thing so based upon that in with respect to your enterprise you might be using it in your daily life or somewhere else also but here we are essentially talking about sorry sandeep ji actually uh, there is a technical glitch at my end i am just doing that yeah please no no that's okay that's okay so uh, so uh, so essentially we are talking about here when whenever you are writing and uh, when you are running an enterprise or you are thinking about an any enterprise whether you have or whether you are thinking about any idea or not whether you have these components in mind or not that is the most essential thing actually so based upon that you should do your self evaluation Where where we can see the sharing of screen? Just a second. You have to take you have to take it like a presenter probably. Okay. Yes, got it. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. so basically this is in self assessment for identifying your traits in being problem focus or not so it's a very simple tool uh, where we are actually saying these are various kind of requirement which are there for you uh, which you should have so first is the analytical thinking so when we are talking about analytical thinking uh, essentially it is saying that um, it has three all of the components have three three pointers for each the one is the lowest point and the five is the highest point So in case of analytical thinking the first point is how comfortable you are with breaking down complex problem into similar components whether you so whether anyone any problem is coming to you you write down in detail or discuss in detail and then further reinvestigate it so for example one of my cousin is running a restaurant so he came and he started sharing different kind of problems he was having so what what we did was i asked him that what how many employees he has so he said like i have around 8 10 employees what are the different sections she has in uh, he has in a restaurant he he said like we have a cooking unit then we have a display unit then there is someone sitting at the reception then there are waiters also so the majority of the problem which he was facing is majorly was faced by the cooking area actually but he was actually thinking that the whole restaurant is actually having a problem so for him just breaking down the problem into different categories have held him in tremendously so in case of analytical thinking that is one of the components so whether you break down different problems into simple or smaller component or not do you identify different patterns or not the third is how confident are you in your ability to analyze and draw meaningful inferences from the different uh, data and other things so the first is the lowest point and the five is the highest point uh, we have shared this link into uh, the group also balu yes Oh, lovely. So uh, you can start filling up uh, that also. So that will be wonderful. Yeah. So we can move to the other points, Balu. So the, the second point is curiosity. So it has three components. So I'm taking just one. The third point says, how willing are you to challenge assumptions and explore different perspectives? So um, you think about whether you have challenged yourself or not. whether you have asked anyone or not whether you have self evaluated yourself or not you have to think yourself very critically 
putting yourself into uh, into these components, whether you are practicing that or not. That is the most essential thing you have to do. Yeah. Thank you so much, Balu. Next. Then there is a component called creativity. So I'm taking an, another one component. How often do you think outside the box to come up with innovative ideas? So here they are not only talking about the business idea thing, but they are also talking about whether you do this on continuous basis or not. So for example, it might be very simple thing also. So you might be forgetting on daily basis, you might be forgetting things to keep in your bag. So do you take a moment to sit or uh, you're forgetting on daily basis? So whether you're doing that or not, are you thinking outside the box and coming up with any kind of solution to it or not? If you're not doing that, you can actually keep on analyzing yourself based upon your daily life also, based upon whatever you are practicing or not, you will be able to rate yourself. Yeah, Be as honest to, uh, to you as possible. The first is the lowest point and the five is the highest point. Next point. The third is uh, perseverance or persistence, sorry. Persistence is very much required. So it says that are you actually, uh, you might be jumping upon one idea to another idea, second, third idea to fourth idea, fourth idea to fifth idea. So we have a small stitching unit in my place. So we started working and then I was very impatient. In case of persistence, I would rate myself very low because what happened was I was jumping from one pro one product to the another product and the product was very shady. The product was not up to the mark. So I just thought he that chal jayega, sab kuch ho jayega, but it was not like that. Then once I started working on one product, it took me at least one and a half month to ensure that the product finally is in place. Otherwise, I just used to make those products in one or two days and then uh, st um, start sending it to the public. So sometimes it was a good response, sometimes it was a bad response and I was losing out on a lot of energy actually. So the persistence is also something which is very much required. Yeah. So you can go through these components. Then there is a component called flexibility. So the first point says, how often are you to changing your strategies or approaches when necessary? So whether you're changing any approaches or strategies or not. For example, I change my strategy that I would not be launching anything which is shady. I will just make sure. So for that, what I did was that I made a small core group of my friends who were not listening to me and then they were not fearful of me. Otherwise, most in most majority of the cases, people, because you are so loud, no, when you are coming over with your idea and you're so touched with your idea that you don't uh, allow other people to speak also on that idea. You feel that, uh, yeah, but that is not the case actually. So in my case, that was the case. So I brought upon four people in a WhatsApp group and uh, all those people, four people, some of them were my friends and professional friends and all that. And then they were completely non-listening to me. They were just bothered about, about that the product should be of high quality and how much irritated I would get, but they, were, they, they never used to approve the whole solution to the problem. So that is how, uh, but I was very flexible in that case. So I can rate high in this, but persistence was not there at that time. Yeah. Then there is resourcefulness. Uh, so you, we might feel that resourcefulness uh, comes with you if you have the resources or not but resourcefulness is basically related to your mind and uh, it is a basically a trait so are you proactively looking for different kind of uh, relevant tools solutions and other things or not so for example uh, in my stitching unit we have different bags and other things so in some of the cases the bags are of very high cost but when i go to cut pieces i'm getting the piece, cloth pieces in a very uh, low rates so uh, sometimes I come up with a product which are very high quality, but they are very affordable. So that is how we are able to win through. So that is something which is resourcefulness. So the product is also quality. And then in that case also, there is uh, we have things in place. Yeah. Then I think uh, uh, systemic thinking, you can actually Google th also about a bit the particular problem uh, things also the systemic thinking basically is a can be a session in itself but systemic thinking is basically well, whether you understand and think problem for a different perspective so for example if somebody is not uh, uh, studying properly in your class or if you are a teacher so whether that is because of your teaching whether that is because of the food or nutrition the child is not getting whether they, that might be because of the peer pressure that whether that might be because the child is not having a proper atmosphere at home so there might be different reason uh, and problems to it. 
so once you start understanding the problem from different approaches and different stakeholders so then you get into a systemic thinking uh, mode so here they are actually saying that can you in the uh, in the middle that can you identify the broader implication and impacts of your problem so you have to think about your problem whatever you are targeting and what are the broader and other classifications of that so you have to think are you uh, able to see the broader picture and understand how different elements interact in a system so whether you have done any kind of analysis or not whether whatever you are doing uh, particularly that can be connected to other things or not so for example in case of minakshi she started seeing that mathematics was a problem she came up with a venture called majdar where the illustrative worksheets were done for mathematics the problem was mathematics itself was a tough subject and the material not, uh, not having an interesting material was again making it much more tougher so so she started understanding problems from different perspective and she was able to come up with different solutions so whether you do that or not if you have not done that rate yourself low if you done that rate yourself high yeah next then it, uh, collaboration whether you are open to speak to people whether you want to collaborate with people or not like that yeah next then there is a component called decision making are you able to evaluate options ways pros and cons and other things also next then continuous learning are you willing to reflect on your experiences learn from both successes and failures or whether you just get down or you start feeling low when anything is not coming in place like that yeah so these are all the components which uh, uh, might sound very uh, so you can also google uh and then once you are actually for example you are evaluating yourself on continuous learning so you can write down on google continuous learning for any enterprise or any venture so based upon that based upon that you will be in a position to evaluate yourself so i hope you, you might have enjoyed this whole exercise and uh some of you might have done the uh, assignment also uh, with the along with the session but i would uh, request all of you that uh, please take out time and then uh, do this assignment yeah for yourself self assessment so this session will be open until next session and then we can share all these assignments in the uh, concern areas also we can do that yeah. yes yes i think that's a very important point and uh, um also uh, this is ultimately going to be culminated into the uh, business model canvas only so once you do this you will be in a better position to come up with your business model canvas also now we are talking about innovation focus and venture concept so uh, we have discussed in detail what is problem focus how you can actually think about problems how you how you should actually have different kind of traits which are pertaining to problem focus so uh, in case of innovation focus uh, there are different kind of research and market uh, so the along with this there are different kind of components which are there so 1 uh, to 7 uh, if you see that uh, whether uh, you have the research and market analysis skill or not whether you have the consumer insights or not whether you can do internal assessment or not whether in, the, in uh, industry um, insights and trends you are able to understand or not you can brainstorm upon any idea generation or not whether you have done feasibility assessment or not whether you have prioritization and tasking or not so all these components are required for your venture or for your idea also so whether you have done that or not so for example in case of research and market analysis whether whatever you are offering whatever idea you have, whether you are understanding that or not so in our case i am again taking the example of stitching wala thing so we were making some products and i was just looking it into the on the google and just getting some reference and all that but once uh, i started uh, asking my friends whether where, from where you are purchasing and what is the amount you are paying so they were paying much more higher amount for the stitched bags compared to what we were actually selling off so then i asked them ki can you please uh, purchase it for me and then i want to have a look at the quality 
so once those bags arrived at me and i was able to touch them physically or see see them i was in a very better position to understand about it and then have a better understanding of that whole product actually so that is basically research and market analysis i did and that has helped me tremendously to run our venture actually like this yeah so in case of uh, uh, innovation focus also there is a self assessment uh, for you where you can actually is a very is a very simple yes no wala uh, innovation focus ka component whether you are doing pilot testing or not whether you are doing uh, brainstorming or not so there are different components to innovation focus and whether you are doing that or not you have to write down yes or no and the interesting part is in that assessment it's a, in the assignment you are also guided if you are not doing that what you should do actually so that is also there in that whole assignment uh so balu should we run through this or uh, they can do it on their own quickly we can send this link in the chat box and also share it in later so that you yeah. can yeah yeah so uh, what what we have learned today is basically what is problem focus what is innovation focus and not only we have learned we have done a self assessment also so i am requesting you again sit let it be a very beautiful insightful exercise for you you we hardly get chances to self -evalu evaluate and self assess yourself this is a chance to do that and you will see that your idea is growing like anything and this is going to help you tremendously so please do that for minakshi it was uh, a good learning and uh, in the next case we are actually going to decode various kind of consumer uh, behaviors and uh, uh, we are going to a uh, fit in into for our product also yeah i hope you have enjoyed the session and uh, you might have uh, so uh, and also i am requesting you again to uh, complete the assign assignments also on time and then this will be a recorded session you can also go through it again again i am thank you i am thankful to all the task members and balu for uh, running this uh, whole slide for us yeah thank you so much balu uh, okay. there is there are some few more formal announcement from balu side so please be with us yeah yeah sure thank you sandeep ji uh, thanks and all uh, good evening one and all sorry good afternoon <laughs> it's not that good evening so uh, as you all gone through the session about uh, edp1 and, and uh, there are as sandeep told two uh, announcements about our uh, continuous of journey in entrepreneurship the first thing is um, So we have a software. Let me go through that. Yeah. Uh, some of one haven't submitted your ideas. You can take this link, and also we have sent an e detailed email to you. Once you can check your inbox and and respond to that, so that you can. If you are not registered, you can register in the link, and and if you are not uh, submitted your idea and had uh, all gone through the EMP sessions. you can submit the idea so once you submitted your idea and you are looking for more details or in deep uh, in deep knowledge and we are here to share you with a, a wonderful a software called win software mind mapping uh, give me a minute so that i can share the link and then we'll explain you about it Uh, here is the folder and uh, and and also i will share you the link to access that software and also we will send you the email and whatsapp and messages to reach out all the communication which is related to this program before that let me display that ppt meanwhile you have any doubt you can type in the chat box so that i can able to clarify those one also
So I'm looking responses from you as soon as possible in the chat box so that we can discuss. We have four minutes time to get feedback. So here is a, a slide uh, which you can see the detailed information about entrepreneurial journey. Uh, if, you are, if you haven't registered in IFRTS program, there is a link, the first link you can register here. And uh, once you register, you can go through all the details. There is a guidelines here. Uh, click here for more details. If you click here so that you can get access with the details, the video, previous videos, previous programs and all. And also there is uh, detailed information here, reach out as here. There is an email ID, uh, WhatsApp number and contact numbers where you can go and interact with the people to get clarity about the program. And that's how the program is all about. And also um, in the next communication in the WhatsApp app and, and, and the task app, we will share you the detailed information about the software and all. And you have a exclusive three to four slides on software. Meanwhile, we will share you the link, go through that link and install the Win software so that you will be get access with the mind map and everything. I, I think we have already had a session on this, but meanwhile, we can here practice with the software and we will get concluded in everything. So is there any uh, feedback? Let us know. So here, uh, Aditya, good afternoon, sir. We already have uh, participated in IFRTS and submitted feedback assignment, but we didn't get any certificates now. Start a new program, what I do, and program continuation. Yeah, Abita. Uh, Abita, right? Yeah, Abita. Um, uh, uh, yes, as you told, uh, this is a program to uh, incalculate the things about the idea and making things done. And, and if you come, with us and you can start your journey and to learning in this and these are all the assignments and learnings will be motivate you to get good knowledge in out of thinking out of the box learning multidisciplinary skills and all and those skills will be prove you be an entrepreneur or be a graduate or be a good employee so having a certificate we will be thinking about it i will escalate and carry forward this question to my next level and we will think about it. We have every data with us who those are applied, how many sessions they gone through, how many assignments they submitted. If we have the database, we will check once and then let you know everything. Even though there are uh, certain uh, contact details we have provided in this slide, you can text us so that we can respond to you. Thanks so much. And also we will send you the links about assignments and feedbacks and everything. And uh, Ruchita, where can I get previous session videos? So previous session videos will be available in the task YouTube channel. You can uh, search in the YouTube Telangana Academy for Skill and Knowledge. You will be able to see uh, the task logo. And once you click on that, you will be accessed all the videos of IEMP as well as EDP. So thanks for the responding. We done almost. If you have any queries, and if you have any doubts, there will be a WhatsApp number and email ID. You can respond to that. We will send you and we will help you out and type this program. Thank you. Thank you so much for the session. Bye-bye.